Alright, hi guys, welcome to a Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be creating a ragdoll purely in Cinema 4D with no external software except for the use of Mixamo, which we're going to be helping to rig this model right here. Alright, so let's get started. First, you need a 3D model. Um, I got this male mesh model, I cut the hands off because that will cause me issues, but you can keep yours on there if you want to. There's no hassle, hassle at all. Right, next, make sure this model is rigged correctly, just like this. I used Mixamo to rig it for me, it's a free online software which does auto rigging, so you don't have to worry about um, doing it yourself. Um, don't use any animations or anything, just download the, um, the original rigged version. Alright, so once you've got your rigged version, you're going to duplicate this um, this model, um, duplicate the model, and you're going to turn off the original one, um, and just ignore everything else in project file. I'm just doing an example, ignore this one and that. Um, you get your duplicated version, delete the bones, so it's just the model. Then, you're going to go select tool, polygon selection. And basically what you're going to do here is we're going to create um, a segmented version of your model. So select the foot. Now you won't be able to see this for some reason um, with the screen recording I'm using, but objects, um, I'll implement it in objects and then go current state of the object. And it will create a duplicate. And what you do then is go select um, up here at the top and invert. So delete the rest of the object and you'll have yourself just a foot by itself just like that um, and then you can name that foot and you're done all right and then you do the next thing so you go back to the object you go back to the original mesh not your original one but the duplicated original um, and you do the same thing with the calf current set to object so object, current set to object, and then you go select, and then you go invert, delete, and then done. You have yourself a calf. Okay? Easy as that. Um, so you do that for everything. So for your thigh, for your lower torso, upper torso, um, your arms, your bicep, your forearm, and your hands if you have them on the model. Um, so you can delete that for now. I've already done this myself, so I'm not doing it again. But um, here is the version I did before. So um, it's all segmented, as you can see. Foot, thigh, calf, lower torso, upper torso, um, hands, biceps, forearms, neck, and head. Um, so what you do after that is you uh, you go into your sections and you put a connector between each section you turn this um, the connector on for each section so uh, the connector should be between the torso and the lower torso and between the thigh the knees and the foot should be copied for each leg just like that um, and now it's important that these connectors are on a ragdoll setting um, and you can put angular limits on there as well to help it stopping from spinning too much. You can just copy the ones I have here. A bit of a jump cut there because I need to do something quickly. Um, so basically after you have created every single segment here, um, so you've created all your segments, right? Um, see what you need to do now is go in to your bones of your object and create nulls for them. Uh, create nulls representing the bones, and then once you've created nulls representing the bones, you got to parent, you got to put those nulls as a child of these segmented pieces. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So the easy way to do it is to go. Select all of your bones and then go character conversions convert to nulls. And here you go. This is each null that is 
exactly the same as your bones. So it's a null. There's a null here, null there, null here, null there. That represent represents each thing. So as you can see, right upper leg, um, spine. See, these nulls aren't actually bones, but they're in the exact same position, rotation, and scale as the bones um, that were made. So what you need to do after that is you need to essentially grab these bones. Um, you need to grab these bones, uh, these nulls. So you need to grab the nulls, um, and you need to put them into your corresponding area. So this right leg, this right upper leg null, um, which represents the right upper leg bone, needs to be dragged into the right leg um, thigh section, which I've already done before, because I've already done this before. Right? And then you need to get the, um, so you drag that down there, and then you'd be done. Um, you then do the calf as well. So the shin, same thing. Do that with the foot, same thing. Right, you do that with every single um, null that you have here until they're all gone and put into the distributed areas. So once you've done that, um, then you can add um, your rigid body to your rigid body tag to each um, segmented section. So I'll turn off this for a second. Each segmented section you can add a uh, rigid body to. Um, you can make, make it on immediately or not on immediately, it's up to you. Um, but once you've done that, um, the next thing you need to do, don't I, I probably actually wouldn't even add the simulation tags just yet, just realize something. Um, you're going to want to go to your uh, to your bones and you're going to want to add a constraint tag. Um, if you've already added the simulation tag, that's fine. Um, and if you play it, you'll notice that it should work fine. Um, but yeah, so... Um, basically go into your bone section uh, here and you're going to want to add a constraint tag with the PSR enabled there and you're going to set the target as that null which is corresponding to this one so the null that represents the hips which I showed you before will be will be um, constrained to that null and so on for every single bone and that's basically it once you've done that you'll have this and then you can add in a cube you can animate it Bang. you can add some um, rigid body to it turn off that current dynamic state bang look at that and I already added that wall in before um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I hope you understood this tutorial, and I hope it helped you out. Sorry if the audio screwed up. Um, I'll do as many uh, visual post editing um, corrections for any mistakes I make. Thank you.